What does it feel like to be you? Not what you think, but what it feels like to exist right now. Why do we wake up inside ourselves each morning, not just in a body without awareness? This is consciousness, the greatest mystery of the human mind. Though we know a lot about the brain, we still don't understand why experiences feel like something. In this video, we dive into the heart of consciousness, what it is, where it comes from, and why it matters. Ready? Let's go. From a definitional perspective, what is consciousness? It's the subjective experience, the feeling of smelling morning coffee, seeing a sunset, or feeling joy. This is called qualia. It's not just about the brain processing information, but about someone being home to experience it. Are the lights on inside you? Cultures have pondered consciousness for thousands of years. In Buddhism, it's often seen as separate from the body. In Vedanta philosophy, it's the foundation of everything. In Taoism, it flows as part of the whole. In many indigenous beliefs, like Sami traditions, nature, trees, rivers, animals, is considered conscious. Could nature have its own experience? From the perspective of levels, consciousness comes in different forms. Access consciousness is awareness of information you can use. You remember, speak, make decisions. Self-awareness means knowing you exist as an individual. Chimpanzees and dolphins pass the mirror test, recognizing themselves in a mirror. But do they know they're themselves? Reflective consciousness goes deeper. The ability to observe your own thoughts like watching your mind from the outside. But what is the self if thoughts, memories, and the body keep changing? What creates the sense of continuity? From a theoretical perspective, where does consciousness come from? Integrated Information Theory, or IIT, suggests consciousness arises when information forms rich, tightly integrated networks, like the Internet of the Brain. Global Workspace Theory compares consciousness to a theater. Some thoughts step into the spotlight, while others stay in the wings. These theories explain how consciousness might work but they don't answer why experiences feel like anything at all. From a philosophical perspective, consciousness is an eternal puzzle. René Descartes said, I think, therefore I am, believing consciousness was the core of existence. David Chalmers calls this the hard problem of consciousness. How do the brain's electrical signals create subjective feelings? Thomas Nagel asks, what's it like to be a bat? Can we ever truly know another being's experience? And when does consciousness become a self? Are we more than just brain processes? From a biological perspective, consciousness emerges from the brain's complex networks, the orchestrated interplay of the cortex, thalamus, and deeper structures. Brain research reveals fascinating details. The brain updates experience in roughly 400 millisecond chunks, like a rapid series of snapshots. Consciousness might be a movie, not a stream. The default mode network activates when the mind wanders, tying to self-awareness, memories, and inner speech. Experiments have even triggered signs of consciousness in patients with disorders of consciousness, raising the question, can awareness be silently present? The brain's neuroplasticity, its ability to reshape itself through experience, shows how flexible consciousness is. These findings don't fully explain consciousness but they narrow the mystery and inspire AI development. Neural networks mimic brain functions, but can brain research reveal what AI lacks for consciousness? Evolution may favor consciousness because it enhances decision-making and social interaction. Animals show it too. Octopuses solve puzzles. Chimpanzees display self-awareness. Altered states like flow, dreaming, or psychedelics reveal its diversity. But who's observing then? From a speculative perspective, some researchers push further. Physicist Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff propose that consciousness could stem from quantum effects in the brain's microtubules. Their orc or theory claims consciousness isn't just computation. Panpsychism suggests consciousness is a fundamental property of the universe. Perhaps even particles have its building blocks. What if consciousness isn't just individual? Could humanity, animal communities, or even the planet have a collective consciousness? These ideas are controversial, but remind us how little we know. Finally, why does this matter? Without understanding consciousness, we can't fully understand ourselves, 
others are what makes us alive. Without it, there'd be no purpose, deliberation, or empathy. No ability to change, choose differently, or break free from autopilot. Animal consciousness challenges us to rethink how we treat them and all of nature. If animals have experiences, how do our actions affect them and our environment? What about coma patients or those who can't communicate? Can we know what they experience? If we don't know what sparks consciousness, we can't answer the question, can AI become conscious and what would it take? This is just the beginning. Next, we'll explore what AI can teach us about consciousness or whether it requires something machines can never have. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Stay curious, stay grounded.